hello and welcome in this video i just walk you through one of the most frequently asked interview question and the question is explain the concept of raise objection and drop objection with respect to system verilog version of qv we'll try to understand this concept with the help of simple example too okay so if you see the literature you will find many definitions for this raise objection and drop objection and the simplest one here is this raise objection phase dot raise objection is a method which tells the uvm that the test is running so the uvm will stay in the run phase because we are using this phase dot raise objection and phase dot drop objection inside the run phase okay so this tells the uvm or notify to the uvm to stay in the run phase until it is drop the objection now this phase dot drop objection is a method which tells the uvm that the test has finished and the test can uh, you know end and then the test will proceed from the run phase to the extract phase so if you see the you know a standard test bench architecture of uvm generally you will find inside a run phase of the test this raise objection phase dot raise objection and phase dot drop objection will be there and inside that we are starting this sequence on to this sequencer which is there in the agent of this environment by using this start method very simple now if you see the phases concept with respect to uvm you will find basically there are nine phases from build to the final phase already i have uh, explained the concept of phases with respect to system verilog version of uvm as well as python version of uvm so i will put the link of that video in the description so that you can also go through that video okay. now let me just uh, show you here a trick how you can remember these phases so generally uh, the interviewer may ask you explain the concept of phases and what are the different phases uh, in the uv okay so first four phases those are you know build phases uh, you can understand and you you will easily remember this because generally we are using these phases mostly in our test bench architecture so this build phase connect phase end of elaboration is start of simulation and the run phase is a, a main phase for us so these five phases are easy to remember now the next phase is this extract phase check phase report phase and final phase how you remember this so the simple uh, thing what what uh, how i am remembering is i am using ecrf let me repeat ecrf for extract check report and final and for reset configure main and shutdown i am remembering like rcms so let me repeat once ecrf for extract check report and final phase and rcms for reset configure main and shutdown so these uh, phases are the sub phases of this run phase okay reset configure main and shutdown and you remember like rcms and you can just uh, Uh, say pre reset post reset for configure also pre configure post configure for main pre pre main post main and for shutdown phase pre shutdown phase and post shutdown phase so this is what a simple trick you can remember the phases name now let me show you uh, the example to understand this phase dot raise objection and drop objection mechanism so this is what basically the objection mechanism which is there in the uvm okay. now what we are considering here uh, we'll take a very simple example of a producer and consumer class inside that uh, we'll try to write the phase raise objection and then drop objection so as you can see this producer class has this run phase inside that we are raising an objection and at 10 time unit we are dropping an objection similarly in case of consumer we are raising the objection and dropping at 100 time unit so here ideally what we are doing 
we are raising the objection two type uh, two times in these two components consumer and producer and consumer we are raising two times at zero time and in producer we are dropping the objection at 10 time unit and in consumer we are dropping the objection at 100 time unit so this actually uh, you know two times we are raising an objection at zero time and at, at one component meaning the producer we are dropping at 10 time unit and in another component which is a consumer for us we are dropping at 100 time unit so the simulator here will remain in the run phase till all the objections are dropped so all objection are dropping at 100 time unit so simulator will be there in the run phase till this 100 time unit and after that it will proceed to the next phase so it after 100 time unit only it will proceed to the extract phase okay we'll try to understand with the help of example this example of you hence uh, this uh, objection mechanism helps to the simulator to decide at what point of time it can proceed from you know uh, run phase to the extract phase okay let me just explain you this example so that after running this example we'll understand that concept you know complete so here i'm defining a producer class class producer extending from uvm component as it is a component class we have to register with the tick uvm component and it is factory station macro and its default constructor expecting two arguments now here in the run phase of this producer which is a component one for us we are using a run phase inside that we are raising an objection in a 10 time unit just printing a message that run phase of a producer and after 10 time unit we are dropping objection similarly for consumer class we are in the run phase raising an objection and at 100 time unit we are printing a message that run phase of a consumer and uh, dropping an objection this after 100 time unit now in the environment just we are creating producer and consumer and in the build phase we are you know creating using factories create method we are defining here and we are creating here in the build phase in the test just we are creating the environment and uh, in the build phase we are creating that environment defining the environment here and creating using factories create method in the build phase of the test that environment and in the top model within initial begin block just calling run test method okay so after running this example uh, we will understand that how the uh, objection mechanism will help to simulator to decide at what time it will proceed to the uh, you know extract phase from the run phase okay so let me run this code first and we'll analyze the report so after running this code let me show you the result okay so as you can see over here uh, at producer you, you can understand the objection is stopping at 10 time unit okay because we are uh, you know printing a message here that run phase of producer which is dropping after 10 time unit okay. and in the consumer as you can see uh, as you remember here in the run phase of the consumer we said that after 100 time unit we are calling drop objection so at 100 time unit only uh, it will you know simulator will proceed as you can see at 100 time unit test is done and the run phase is ready to proceed to the extract phase you will find this message okay so basically this raise objection and drop objection will provide us the counter kind of mechanism it will count the uh, number of times we raise the objection and number of times we drop the objection so um, ideally it is like the raise objection is equal to equal to drop objection the number of times raise objection is there uh, the number of times uh, drop objection should be there then only simulator will proceed from run phase to the extract phase if you want to analyze uh, this in more detail what you can do you can use this uh, u plus uvm objection trace here and you can understand that here so in the run option if you just paste this uv plus uvm underscore objection dot underscore trace and after saving this code if you run this you will uh, find the more detail of that raising objection and dropping objection you will find the counter kind of mechanism will be there so you will find these many messages okay. you can analyze later
just i will show you how we are raising an objection so as you can see at zero time unit only we are raising the objection two times okay inside the component one which is a producer and inside the component two which is a a consumer in our case so two times we are raising an objection at zero time unit okay? similarly we are dropping the objection at 10 time unit inside a producer so as you can see the objection is dropped at 10 time unit and uh, at the producer okay and in the consumer we are calling the uh, you know drop objection at 100 time unit so as you can see at 100 time unit all the objections are dropped and then you will find at 100 time unit only uh, you will find this test done message and run phase is ready to proceed to the extract phase so this is what the concept of uh, you know objection mechanism with respect to system very lock version of UV. how this objection mechanism help to simulator to decide at what time it should proceed from run phase to the extract phase so, so with this i hope you have understood the concept of objection mechanism and that uh, frequently asked interview question that explain the concept of raise objection and drop objection up and also i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching thank you